Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Stormtrooping off of Ted Nugent's first album. And uh, I just love this first album of his. It's absolutely fantastic. Derek St. Holmes singing is just tremendous. Definitely look at his versions. And uh, so I have a website. I have some lessons on it. I also have some bundles on it, some free stuff, some paid stuff. So check that out. Please take a look at that. So, storm troop <laughs> What do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. These are wound electric guitar strings. I'm playing through this Roland Mini Cube. It's on battery power, and uh, it's a wonderful little tool, and you can see them. And if you want to, you know, if you want to take a look at them, what they look like and how much they cost, uh, you can look at my Amazon page, and that's down there below. So this song is an A, but where is A? G, open, G sharp, A. A chord in this song, it's a bar chord, just like it says. B flat, B, C. Okay, C is another chord in this song, it's a fifth fret bar, C sharp, D. There's also a D sharp in this song. E, F, F sharp, and G. So the main body of this is A, C, D. And it's really quick. And the best way to action that is to think of your hand in these this position here. And this is called the second position. First position would be there. Second third, fourth, fifth, just like using the frets. So your first finger is going to cover that second fret, second finger covers the third fret, third finger the fourth fret, and the fifth finger covers the fifth fret like so. So you are basically going here, here, and hop to. Okay? So that's the idea. It's, it's one of these hop tunes. And I really, really like this technique. Now, when your pinky isn't strong enough, you have to use your third finger. And you're really going to be pressing hard. You can see, you know, where my thumb lies when I'm doing this. So, squeeze, pressure, okay, and hop. But I'd really like you to use your finger, and you can press down your whole hand. I'm using my whole hand here to press down on it. You know, my whole hand is just holding that, and I am aiming for the center, but this is where I end up. So it's... Uh... So that's how that goes, and it does this a lot through the song, and it's very quick. So it's very quick. The little G bass, remember your hand is here.
like another song, I know. So it's a... So the second you are done, you are back to A. isn't strong enough to handle all of this sometimes you have to hop and use your third finger at first but what I'd rather you do is just start using your pinky and if you need an exercise second to five and if that gets boring for you walk up the fretboard while you do this One, two, so one, two, three, four. And, and walk around on the fretboard using that technique, that little. It's a really, really fine way to improve the versatility of your pinky. With a three-string cigar box guitar, this becomes almost a default finger. And on electric guitar, you'll see lots of guys and gals that only use this. But on this machine, this uh, three-string, you really find your pinky is almost necessary. Because you're going to do lots of hops. And to get these, you need to have a strong... Strong pinky. Right? So a strong pinky is really, really essential. There's another little section in this song where it goes D, E, F. And I do it with my third finger like that. And then C, D, D sharp. So you can basically bar chord this whole thing. D, E, F, or hop, C, D, D sharp. So in real time, it'll go. That's really how to navigate around. This song is super fun. You know, when I first heard this, I just was blown away. Um, and I saw uh, Ted and Derek St. Holmes in uh, RFK Stadium in 1976 in the summer. It was one of my first concerts. And uh, they were fabulous. And they were just coming off this album. And uh, they were just absolutely fabulous. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. We're still a 100% donation channel. We thank you so much for everything you do for me. I wouldn't be here at all without you, obviously. I just wouldn't be here without you. You are what make it special. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've also got a website. I want you to take a look at that because uh, I've got some songbook extras for you guys and gals that have bought the songbook. I've got some lessons to go with it, and I'm going song by song. So every Tuesday and every Friday, you're going to see another song hit. And this songbook is meant for you to learn to sing and play. A lot of you folks do not sing and play, you just play. Or you struggle along with singing. So what I think is best is if you take songs that you know and go slowly through them and learn to sing and play. Getting something like this, get really...
Learning how to sing and play like that is really complicated. So the best thing to do is start slow with two chord, three chord songs, and that's what this book is all about, is getting you to the point where you start singing comfortably with easy songs and slowly moving your way up to more complicated songs singing-wise. And it takes time, but it's way worth it. So definitely look at the songbook, and uh, it'll be downloadable by the time you get this video. So that'll be very cool, too. Tess and I have done a, a really good job. In fact, Tess has really done this whole book. I have to give her the credit for it. She's been the one that did all the legwork. So uh, thank you so much for everything you do for us here in the mothership. It's just fantastic. And uh, I wanted to show you these settings. These are the same settings I used for the uh, Stranglehold. So uh, I am on that Brit combo. And you'll see, notice most of the time I'm on that Brit combo. Gain is just about straight up. Got a little bit of reverb. My tone is dimed. Okay? So that's important. Also on this guitar, my tone is dimed. My tone control here. Whoops. Tone is dimed. And uh, I turn my volume all the way up to get that, that grit. So, uh, get a really good tone out of that. So, thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it. Storm Troopin', great, great, great tune. And uh, more lessons coming up on this channel. Thank you so much.